Hey, what's going on? This is your boy, 50 Shades of Feel, coming back to you guys with another video. Uh, this is on my cousin's great, amazing project uh, for some even reason. Uh, it's also on the beats. It's Solomon Grunge. Y'all get into it. Y'all, when I tell you my cousin did an amazing job, the mogul, y'all know who this is about. Okay, I've done review just about almost every project my cousin has done. And uh, I really, really got into just these songs, all 13 of them. My cousin is really introducing uh, uh, just uh, other sides to him that he never really had the chance to introduce to on his recent projects. And this is basically his velvet rope. And I told him this uh, person, person to person, phone to phone. Like, I feel like this is his velvet rope. If I have to take a quote from Janet Jackson, I would say this is his velvet rope. This is his six or seven studio album, and he did an amazing job crafting it. I'm telling you, he's putting everything on the table. He talks a lot about his uh, inspirations, which is Gangstar, 36 Mafia. He talks a lot about what hip hop really means to him. He talks a lot about, uh, 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 just everything that he's going through about his kids, about uh, him being 31. And cuz, I'm going to tell you, it don't matter that you are 31 years old and, and doing hip hop, y'all. Uh, 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 get into it, y'all. I, 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 I'm going to get into this whole entire project. It don't matter that you are 30, 31 years old and uh, doing the damn thing. I'm going to play one of my favorite songs featuring Toka Doc, and I hope I said her name right. Because I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. I hate to mess up a person's name. But uh, Third Person is one of my favorite songs on this project. I'm speaking in third person. Yeah. I'm speaking in third person. I'm speaking in third person. Yeah. I'm speaking in third person. I'm speaking in third person. Word surge. I'm first person out for the bird. Pretty woman, city girl. My name is I'm telling you, the beat is called Solomon Grunge. Bit, I, 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 I'm telling, I'm telling you, I really got into these beats on this project because it has that 90s vibe to it. It has that old school, under the basement type of hip hop. Y'all know I live for that. My cousin always brings that heat. Y'all know my cousin has tried uh, a lot of different uh, 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 ways of making hip hop. He's done trap. He's done, uh, 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 oh my God, you name it. He's done tried it all. But when he goes to the roots of hip hop, that's when I feel like, you know, he's at his best and he's he, he's speaking real shit. And my cousin always speaks real shit regardless. But y'all, I really, really got into this project and I really, really got into these beats. I'm telling you, third person is called The Way Talker Dot came in. I'm telling you, I love the female MCs of hip hop. I'm telling you, they need to be uh, more uh, recognized and more uh, uh, congratulated on because uh, female MCs can go just as hard. You know, and, and Toka Dot, I don't know how many people know who she is, but I feel like she should be known more because I'm all about the female empowerment uh, and, and equality because, y'all, the way she came in was cold and the way my cousin backed her up was cold. Third person is one of my favorites because that beat, uh, 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 I'm telling you, is everything. But we is going to get jump right into... Uh, the the first uh, part, which is rapper producer. Let me let's get into it. The duo man, so man, so man. First off, first off, I like how my cousin said the rapper, rapper, the producer, producer, the rapper, rapper, producer, producer. This shit is cold. I'm telling you, that is cold. The way he did that, a rapper, 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 the producer. Ooh. I got into that. I got into that. I I want to say I think this is a Lou Rawls sample. I could be wrong, but it sounded a little like Lou, Raw, Lou Rawls when it got into the uh uh uh, uh end of it. Uh, but y'all, I really really got into just this uh vibe of this uh little intro at the beginning. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. 
Yes. Get into it. We get into it. Before I was created. Now, before I was created is basically him making a vow to God that he will be the greatest. He will be the best he can be, you know, in this hip hop uh, thing that he's been doing for years. Let's get into it. Before I was created. Please call me just a guy. I'm sorry y'all was running late. I was in hell's kitchen cooking shit to Are you ready to make you? I said we making me. He said, yo, we making me. I said, you the man, Lord. He said, the earth is your vacancy. vacancy. And I'm your landlord. At first that was puzzling. But if you making adjustments, keep it fixed and edit my double chin. He asked, what would you like to be in my past life? I was an actor. Oops, I was a doctor. I was a farmer in Florida. Building track. I'm telling you, before I was created is everything because my cousin is putting a lot on the table about, you know, what God created him to be. And I really, really like the uh, the, the dedication in that, y'all. Six, five, three. Let's get into it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I like the way he was speaking that Espanol at the beginning. Y'all, I'm telling you, 653 is him representing his hood. 60th and 53rd in Cottage Grove, y'all. Get into it. Let's go. <laughs> Us, to pip in the moment to be some diva Felicio, she take it slow and put a weave up Cover up a clitoris just to tease us right. Six, five, three, six, fifty three And it's a mobile crew and now to speak I just pray Jesus cheering in the bleachers Six, five, three, six, five, three, six, fifty three, six That is grand y'all i'm telling you i i love it the vibe of the song is everything the way solomon is on that beat is everything the way my cousin is just speaking his shit y'all i'm telling you 653 is everything dedication to uh his hood and where he grew up at y'all let's get into it why not me And you know, this song I feel like is the most important for him because for so many years he has been, you know, trying to make it in this hip hop industry. And you know, it's hard. Y'all know how it is in hip hop industry. You got to basically be Drake, Future, uh, Quavo. Y'all know. Y'all know, y'all know, okay, and they are all, they are all good, okay, I can't front y'all, I love them, but, you know, uh, I feel like the way that music is going out, it has gotten so far away from how it used to be, and my cousin is the real in hip-hop, he's trying to bring that real back, and he has been, and it doesn't matter if he's not global or international, he still has an audience, and cuz, this is why I want you to know, you still have an audience at 31 years old. It doesn't even, it, do, it, it don't even matter. So why not me is him questioning after all these years, why haven't I been, you know, uh, uh, been that hype? Why haven't I got that big break yet? But you know what? He's been, he has got it's that big break. So if the whole world here, that's fine. If they do, if they don't, that's fine. Uh -huh. But I'm the mobile. As long as I hear, that's all that matter, motherfucker. Let's go. I'm telling you, when the second part came on, bitch, y'all know it. Y'all know I always like them songs where they have a one part, two part. The second part always got to be the coldest part. Y'all, I live, I love when artists do that. I'm telling you, I like them one part, two part songs. The second part, my cousin went in and killed it. Woo! I love it, y'all. Y'all gotta get into it. The, the next song after, after that is Mike God featuring my boy Reese T, which he was on the previous project from last year, Unfriendly Competition. Y'all get into it! Sleep peacefully, sleep with no anxiety. I want a gunfight without the iron, the irony. I wish the bitch with a switch hit the academy. My shoes to use to lift up and fill. Probably gotta use a dolly, a Harley to pick up my rhythm. Get us to kill them. It's the top seeded, heavy weeded, the yeah. ones that need. Yeah. We the new medicine to stop and 
turn up the lead and watch it. Okay, they talking about that in Mike Guys, okay? Y'all need to get on a level. I'm telling you, a lot of people need to do their research. And in the radio interview that my cousin was giving uh, on Wednesday, okay, um, uh, you know, they spoke about you know why so many people these in this generation and time have not done their research because look at the way that they sound y'all I'm telling you hip hop is not how it used to be and don't get me wrong I love a lot of the stuff that I I'm hearing but I I, I I'm always looking for that 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 that, that real grimy under the basement type of hip hop like I always like okay and I and I, I, I like I said. I'm uh in my late 20s, but y'all, I know music when I know music, okay? I know music. I have an ear for it for years. And my, I've been following my cousin for years, and I know what he is trying to do, and I know his 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 plan and what he's trying to do. He's trying to spread spread the message. Mike, guys, is everything, y'all. Get into it. Y'all know uh, Reese T and him formed a duo, and I love it, y'all. Get into it. Next song after that is Voice Your Opinion. Yeah. Voice Your Opinion. 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 Voice Your Opinion. 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 Everybody has an opinion about something, right? Everybody speaks on something. Voice it, you know, and that's what my cousin is saying. Voice your opinion. And uh y'all, when you get into the song, it's everything. Black out and let go. Let go. Crap from your stomach. Sandwich your chest on my voice. But open up doors for sure. Press home. Yes. You could be monotone. Is that a little aggression? Voice your opinion. 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 Voice your opinion. Voice your opinion is everything, y'all. Get into it. After that, we get into the voice skit. I wanted to utilize my voice like that. And, you know, I didn't feel confident at all about my voice. You know, I, I listened to Big L. I listened to all these dope rappers, you know, and they had a distinctive voice. And I didn't feel like my voice was distinctive enough, so I was going. So, you know, my cousin speaks about a point in time in his life where he wasn't as confident and his own voice. He was, you know, kind of looking at looking up to other people and trying to maybe sound like them, but he had to really come into the realization that, you know, his uh, his voice is important and his voice is real, you know. And I'm glad my cousin has reached that point in his life where he's truly himself. And and and, and this is what this is why I say this is his velvet rope, okay? All right, get into it. The, uh, uh, speaking of third person, I, I I talked about it at the beginning. We're going to move on. Bar and tape, let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Mogul, pull your trunk card, terminate a maid in the junkyard. Your intelligence came from a punk yard. Body dug up, can you dig it? The crane in the front yard, gruesome, pain in the stunk hard. Rhymes that punch hard, still kicking the funk hard. Champ still known to get drunk hard. Dunk all stars. All right, bar intake is everything. This is his bar intake. You know, uh, he was, he, he, in this song and what you hear close to the end of the song is uh, he, he didn't want anybody to out rap him or outdo him on bar intake. It's very important to him. This is probably a important song to him where he really, you know, just wanted to kill, kill it, you know, and the automatic champion, I have to give a shout out to him. You know, he's a white rapper. I don't know who he is. But you know he kind of reminds me of Joe Scudder, um, uh, from little, who used to be a part of Little Brother back in the day. Yeah, if y'all know who Little Brother is, shout out to them. Uh, he kind of sounds like him a little bit. Uh, I have to give it a shout out to him. You know, it was good that my cousin, you know, had an open mind and you know let him join the track. But in that song, I feel like it's uh, important. But uh, bar and take is cold, y'all. <laughs> That's like what? It's almost like when you got features and when you becoming a feature, you have to really think about that. Like, if I'm somebody feature, see like I put my all more into features than I put into the songs that's on my album. But and that's that's something to think about. 
You know, that's something to think about. You know, a lot of people add features on albums and songs to uh, boost it up a little bit. But what he said was just, you know, uh, 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 he wants to, you know, he wants to be the one that's most important. And, and it, but, you know, still, he, he added a feature on it and it was dope. Y'all get into it. I really got into it. I got kids. Shout out to my little cousins, the itty bitty little amazing young boys. Y'all get into it, y'all. Zamir and Jelani. Uh my little my, my 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 little boys, my little munchkins, okay? He he got kids. Let's get into it. Niggas more, more, more. I got kids. If I didn't, I can't bring them from the liquor stores. Or for sure, I got kids. Uh, I got kids. I got kids. Zamir and Jelani. Zamir and Jelani. My real name, that's on we know price. They love my name. I heard the last two eggs. I like it. The vibe of the song is everything. You know he's he he's shouting out to his kids because he loves them and and and, and you know he would do anything for them y'all my cousin I, is a amazing father and I, I I have to give him his props he's seeing to them and y'all that's all that's important uh he got kids y'all the next song after that is Man Up featuring Keefy K. I was taught to swing first. Somehow them gems has faded. He said, Don't let it happen again. Fight the fight. I apologize. Said I hurt him. Then shook his hand. I beat myself up, but I really need to speak myself up. It's cool. Next time I plan up. This topic is talking about being a man. Man up. Face the situations that you go through and go through it. And. That's the, that 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 y'all I I I I love it. I really really gotta give a shout out to uh Keefy K. He's uh, amazing. I don't know who he is, but I really got into that song and I really really got into the vibe of it, y'all. And that's not that is the cold. Song. You know what I'm saying? A lot of just growing up, they always respected me as the most. Even when my name wasn't the most, it just was always something about me where people just show love and respect. We right. might have a few little knuckleheads, few little. Weak ass niggas that try to pull it, but well, my whole life I never attracted that type of energy to be fun with. That. And I'm telling you, this is what I love about this project because my cousin don't doesn't normally have skits or interludes. I'm an interludes guy, okay? Y'all, if I have to give a shout, another shout out to Janet Jackson, okay? I'm an interludes person. And she was actually the first, the person that I really got into loving interludes. And then I love when rappers, you know, uh, uh, do little skits and interludes because it opens us up a little bit more about their life. And, you know, and it, you know, it's just fun to have little skits, you know, talking about things and, and letting people get to know you more. So I have to give a shout out to him on um, Cold Switch. All right, the last song is Last Call featuring Laz. Let's get into it. I think that's a Tina Marie sample. I could be wrong. But, y'all, I really, really got into Last Call. It, you know, it's the Last Call, okay? And I got into the vibe of it. I got into just uh, uh, everything about the song and everything. This project, I'm telling you, is everything. It's on Apple Music. Yes, guys, Apple Music is on Amazon. It's probably, I know it's on YouTube. Uh, it's probably on Amazon Prime. Uh, you probably could catch it on Spotify. I know you could. You know, this is this is how it is now with the music industry. Everything is streaming, y'all. So check out this project for some even reason. And what what sums up this uh, what sums up the title of it is just for some e for some even reason, hip hop needs to, you know, come back and hip hop needs to stay up. And hip hop, uh, uh for some even reason, my cousin decided to go back to the roots. Of, of it and that's what I love about this project y'all this is your boy 50 shades of feel coming back to you guys with another video I know it's been a minute y'all but I'm coming back 
to with more vids. I'm coming back. So yes, deuces. The mogul. Uh, what?